The harmonizers come in basically in four sizes. Yeah, the little personal harmonizer, uh, besides uh, strengthening the aura, has the added effect of being able to be used as a pendulum uh, for healing. It can be directed uh, over an area that's having a problem. Uh, for instance, here we'd use it in the, uh, in the pendulum mode. Um, this pendulum could be allowed to rotate over this area for a period of time until it either stopped rotating or reversed direction spontaneously. And <clears throat> we've seen uh, some profound changes occur using only the personal harmonizer. And again, you have negative energy moving up through the bottom of this tool, circulating out the top as positive in an energy field that would be a radius oh, about like that. So that would be half the diameter of the of the energy field of a personal harmonizer. Can I ask you, still, when you say that it will go around in one direction and then it may go in the opposite, so on the first round then it will obviously scan and then take out one way and then putting back in some energy when it goes the other way around? Not necessarily, it just indicates there's been a change in the auric field. So it's just rebalanced? Yeah, it just rebalances mm -hmm. the field. Okay, <clears throat> now, when we add the sound, uh, either from the vibration of your chest as you're speaking, or using it directly with a, uh, an acoustic program like environmental clearing, the energy field on the personal harmonizer will extend out to a distance of five miles. Uh, very effective on air pollution clearing when used in that fashion. Could you say that again, please? Speak could, up. Could you repeat that, sorry? Could you okay. just repeat with the music? With the music? Yeah, with and the acoustic program, uh, either on speakers or earphones. Yeah. Uh, we have a five mile radius of effect. I mean, um, sorry. if you're a practitioner, you should really wear a harmonizer all the time, don't you? Oh, yes. For protection <laughs> of your own aura. And, um. Yeah. Uh, a good story there. We had a client down in uh, uh, Tyler, Texas, who was a uh, uh, energy worker. She was also an MD, but she worked primarily in the field of energy work. It was very, very good at it. And <clears throat> she <clears throat> recently graduated from her university studies, completed her residency. And when she opened her practice there in Texas, she was working 16, 20 hours a day. Well, this lasted about two months. Mm -hmm. And she gathered up so much negative energy from her clients in her own field that she was reduced to working an hour a day after only two months. So she, <clears throat> we put a personal harmonizer on her and within 24 hours she was back at work 16 hours a day. <laughs> so it, it's very, very good for the, for the practitioner to wear one. Uh, keeps her aura clean, keeps it strong, and keeps the negative energy and entities out of your out of your system. Mm -hmm. Is not having one in the room uh, operating enough? Yes, say you know. If I have one in the room, like the yeah, environmental, an envir environmental or an agricultural it? would be sufficient as well. Mm -hmm. uh, she chose to use the yeah, person. Yeah. 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 <coughs> you mentioned uh, yesterday briefly that you, um, you you put things in the harmonizer and yes, that kind of had a. Homeopathic effect? 
Yes. So I was wondering if I'm allergic to cats, for example, and I wanted to get one for my daughter, would it be helpful to put like cat hair in my harmonizer? Uh, I'd give it a try. Yeah, I, I don't know specifically that that would work, but it would be worth a try. Have you heard of how, what kind of homeopathic effects have worked? Kind of well, standard homeopathic remedies are not the substance itself necessarily. Yeah, they can be another uh, another material that gives you a similar reaction. Yeah, the personal harmonizer, the normal range of this is five to seven feet. Uh, with sound, this would be the normal, and with sound, about five miles. The environmental harmonizer uh, field is 100 feet in radius and 15 miles with the sound. The ag harmonizer is one and one half miles out to 65 miles. Uh, the wash tub, which we don't have a copy of here, is this size and uh, that's the sacred and the lost cubit. There's one harmonizer inside another. Okay, so it's this diameter. And <clears throat> this has an estimated uh, radius at rest with no sound of about uh, 300 miles and out to 2,500 miles. So we're covering some enormous areas. <coughs> The North American continent is essentially covered. I think we have 20 or 22 units scattered around on, <coughs> on the North American continent, Canada and Mexico included. I have a total of 52 on the planet. But <coughs> that's, that's been my, my, one of the main thrusts in the energy work we've been doing. Uh, for the last, uh, what, since 2002. 2000, yeah, 2002 is when I built the first ones. And then I have a, a huge one, which is the two cubit size. Uh, this diameter down in a uh, crystal cavern on the uh, Yucatan Peninsula placed there by the Mayan elders. So we have, uh, this one has a radius of about 16,000 miles. Huh. Who, who decides? It covers the whole planet? earth. Who, sorry, who decides where they are going to be put exactly, like in Afghanistan, in St. Petersburg? In, I mean, how do you know where well, to put Well, I, I choose the location oh. and then find a, an individual. To place it. Okay. Yeah. I, I send them wherever I feel it's necessary. Mm -hmm. uh, some other individuals have purchased a few of them to place in special locations. All right. Yeah. Okay, the, uh, the harmonizer energy field, if you can visualize a, a donut or a inner tube in a tire, uh, these are called toroids. And the energy field around the harmonizer is a, uh, a toroid.
which <coughs> has a direction of rotation uh, starting in the center here, coming out and around and back into the base with a motion like this. And <clears throat> it's, again, it's just this light blue energy field extending out into the surrounding atmosphere that's actually doing the work. Now, the, <clears throat> it's not only the energy, but the particular frequencies which exist within this field. And to describe the entire frequency spectrum in that field would be impossible. So I'm just going to indicate with some little wiggles here that the, the field is holographic and that any direction that you look at this energy field, it will have exactly the same function and uh, information within it. Any small part of it will be identical to any other small part. And <clears throat> this gets right down to the atomic and molecular levels. So it would be impossible to illustrate except by analogy. Uh, again, anywhere from a five mile active radius up to 2,500 miles, depending on the size of the harmonizer. So, <clears throat> uh, frequency and vibration is everything. Uh, it both creates and destroys. You have destructive harmonics, you have constructive harmonics. And in the action of the harmonizer, the constructive harmonics within this energy field will override or destroy any uh, destructive harmonics existing in the environment and we could include the molecular species, which we call air pollution, as being a destructive harmonic because it's destructive of our living tissues being out of phase and uh, disharmonic to living tissue. Whereas the energy field of the harmonizer is composed of the water frequencies driving the energy field itself. And water contains thousands and thousands and thousands of frequencies. Uh, I have a 20 page computer printout of all the different frequency patterns in a in molecule of water. For that to work the most effectively to 60 miles expansion yes. with the field, how far actually around, because I have one of these in, at, at home and I don't think I've actually cleared the geopathic lines properly <laughs> from what I saw yesterday when we were practicing. Mm -hmm. So how, actu how far around it do you actually have to clear all of these stress lines for it to go out the full 60 miles? Well, you just have to turn on the sound. Use and that's it. CD, that's it, yeah. And that will actually uh, push back or reduce the, uh, the geopathic stress in the home. And you can douse for that. Set it, set it active, get it going for a day or two. And then go out and douse for geopathic stress. See if it is currently there, if it's there now. then turn it off for a few days and check again, see if it's there now. In, in the present moment. Yeah, using, yeah, using the, uh, the harmonizer for clearing, uh, we've got a CD running here, a couple of the little earbud earphones in there.
That's the preferred method, actually. And <clears throat> when we add the sound uh, to these units, it, it tremendously increases the radius. I'll get into that you know, probably late this afternoon and tomorrow. And we'll go into a lot of the applications of the tools. I mean, compatible with having another CD player, which plays, uh, there is a, a person in England who does that. Um, you play silent healing, which is the, he somehow has, a, has taken the, the vibration of the essence of certain homeopathics, etc. And uh, you play it and you don't hear anything, but it goes into the space. Yes. This is compatible. I mean, if I have the harmonizer and I play that, it's okay if it doesn't one disturb the other or something? No, they don't cancel each other out. They reinforce each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, we found that the, the harmonizers talk to each other over great distances. What do you mean? Well, there, there's a communication between them. Because we're working on gravity wave, and because we're using the natural frequencies, whether it's a radionic frequency or a vitamin or a herbal preparation, or in the case of the environmental clearing CD, which is the frequencies of water, uh, this travels instantaneously around the planet and reinforces every harmonizer in existence. Oh. Okay, so they're, like I say, they talk to each other over distance. Uh, which means that all the people who are using them are in, in a web somehow. Yes, they're, they're all connected <coughs> in a very real sense. Uh, sympathetic vibration is, is a key phrase there. So if enough people would get this, maybe the earth would change. We're changing it right now. The <coughs> global load of air pollution has been tremendously reduced in the past 10 years. I, I've been a careful observer, particularly of air pollution, and particularly in the Denver area. And our, our sunsets used to be kind of an orangey brown. And over the years, they become more and more clear, more yellow. And as the sun gets nearer the horizon, we have more of the bright yellow rather than the orange brown color which indicates that the density of air pollution is less and that the layer, you know, the thickness of the layer is reduced as well. We recently, uh, last, let's see, last spring, uh, we did some testing at the EPA labs in North Carolina and we found that we could reduce the smokestack emissions of carbon dioxide by 60 percent. Okay. We're currently working with the environmental ministers in the European countries uh, attempting to introduce the technology for the, um, for the benefit of the people. But primarily to reduce the greenhouse emissions so the EU will become a net, will have a net gain, in other words. One, there's a tax on carbon dioxide emissions of, I think, $60 a ton right now. Uh, in two years, it's going to $800 a ton. And this is on a global exchange basis. You get credits if your emissions are very low and below the standards. So we're hoping that if we can get the EU to become the world leader in greenhouse reduction. And that way 
like China and India and all the rest of the <laughs> countries that have high emissions will be paying into the EU. And corporations will have you know, little or no tax or lower taxes and possibly get actual cash credit for the low emissions. The environmental clear city, if one plays it without the harmonizer, does it make any sense? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the, it's the particular energy field of the harmonizer that actually does the work. Uh, in other words, you, you have to have an energy field modulating at a certain frequency dissipate air pollution. Yeah, it's a little bit of a difficult concept, but working with radionics you understand it a little better. <laughs> and uh, those in the audience who are familiar with distant healing or uh, various mental practices like the Merkava uh, have a very good understanding of how the harmonizer field actually works. Uh, it works well with intention, I might add. Uh, you can intend the field to behave like Merkaba, which it's very close to. Question about the Yes, uh, the harmonizer field is very a very close replica of a Merkaba field. I mean, it's just within fractions. So it comes out like a this sort of like a yes. galaxy, like the sombrero shape. Well, and there there's also a larger field. There's the spherical toroid field from the center from the center, yeah. rotating yeah. outward like that. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, a donut shape. That's what I, can see. I didn't bring my little toroid toys. I've got some really neat little toys <laughs> to <laughs> illustrate it perfectly. 